All right. Shalom all. Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. All right. Before I go any further, I'd like to get all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wa Kodash. All right. And um, another Shalom all to the um, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Teach us his truth according to the Bible, all right? And now let's travel along to all the sincere Akims, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with diligence and sincerity, all right? And um, <clears throat> this has been heavy on my mind here lately about fear, man. You know, um, you know, our people, our people, man, these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have no fear, man. You know, but it's gonna come to a time, and we're on those times now. Where the Lord is gonna put fear in our people, man. All right, and um, it's gonna bring some scriptures out on fear, man. Um, so jump right on into it. Uh, the first precept I want to grab. <coughs> I'm gonna to go to the book of uh. Let's see. Book of. Book of Proverbs. No, book of Proverbs. Chapter 1, verse 7. Kickstart things with that, that precept. <clears throat> this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. It reads, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. <clears throat> the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord we call God Jesus Christ. And look, that's the beginning of knowledge, man. Alright? So, uh, you can pretty much cancel uh, <clears throat> the knowledge of this world, man. All right? It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you think you got a master's degrees, a doctor's degrees, associate's degrees, law, law degrees, man, you name it, man. You know, it's uh, it's nothing compared to the fear of your how about Shimei was shy, man. All right? And that's one thing you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are going to learn soon come, man. Read it from the top again. It's the book of Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's right. Who are those fools, man? Those fools are two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right? For not having any fear to you. How about Shimei was shy? Okay? The man of the Lord, out on the highways and byways, talking for our apostles, that was a great millstone for over 30 years or more, man. All right? We're proven. And rebuking our people, man. But what? Our people still don't have no fear of the Lord. But one day, and that day is, is fast approaching, they will. <clears throat> All right. You know, we tell our people to refrain from eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobsters. You know, to refrain from um, having other uh, false gods and idols. You know. And, and 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 to stop worshiping Caesar Borgia, you know the the, the so-called white Jesus Christ, all right, and worship their truth and living power. Yeah, how about Shimei was shot, man? Who the world enemy calls God and Jesus Christ, the true living power of the Bible, man. All right. <clears throat> the next precept I'm gonna grab is Proverbs 1 and 29. It reads. For they that hated knowledge did not choose to fear the Lord. That's right. And that's plain, man. They that hated knowledge chose not to fear the Lord. Because we just read in Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right? But they that hated knowledge chose not to fear the Lord, man. So two-thirds were, 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 are, are not going to fear the Lord, man. And they, 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 they hate knowledge. Because the, the true uh, wisdom and knowledge I'm saying in scripture starts off with fear, man. Knowing what the God of the Bible can do to you, man. Alright? God of the Bible can have you in a worse situation than you already in, man. You think you're going through something now? You know, may not be getting enough hours on your job. Check may be short. You know, rent's past due. Man, the Lord can have it to where you just lose that job, man. Then what? Then what? All because you chose not to fear, man. You know? You know, we tell you to uh, stop celebrating Christmas. You refuse to fear the Lord. So what? The Lord has to, to 
the Christian spirit will just burn your house down, man. Because you chose not to fear the Lord, man. That's just a few examples, all right? <clears throat> Next precept we want to grab is uh, the book of Psalms. Or the book of Psalms 115 and 11. Because the times are coming in, man. You're going to have to call on somebody, man. And it's not Tyrone. All right? You got to call on your how about Shimmy Alva Shy, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Alright? Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching, man. <clears throat> this is the book of Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Alva Shy, trust in the Lord. That's right. So those that fear the Lord. Trust in the Lord, man. Okay? Because the elect, the hopeful elect of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, know that you're going to have to put your trust in the Lord, man. You know? Scripture said those that fear the Lord put their trust in Him. Because the Lord is all we have. When martial troops is, 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 is kicking down people's doors, when a famine hits America, who are you going to put your trust in, man? You gonna put their trust in America and, and Esau, the so-called white man? Yeah, that's contrary to the scriptures, my man. Hey, the Lord said, you fear Him and put your trust in Him, man. You know, don't put your trust in your drugs, your alcohol, your woman, your food, your bank account, because the Most High, your How about Shimei Osha, take all that away from you, man. And He's gonna do that to a lot of our people. This is Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. That's right. Those that fear the Lord, trust in Him. And who's going to be what? He's going to be your help, man. When that famine kicks off, okay, the Lord going to be the help for you, man. So you don't have to take the RFID chip. Okay? He'll make sure that you eat, man. And He's going to be that shield protection. What does a shield do? A shield protects you. Okay, just like in the ancient movies, you know the the um, guys are fighting with swords and they have shields and stuff like that. That shield was to protect them from that that oncoming sword or uh, uh, arrow being shot at them. They use that shield as protection. Okay, and that's how the Lord's going to be to the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that uh, that fear Him, man, and put your trust in Him. All right. <clears throat> Read that scripture one more time. This is the book of Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. That's right. So those that fear you, how about Shemiah Vashad? Is what? It's going to trust in them, man. Okay? Because fear is the beginning of knowledge. The Lord gave them knowledge. You know? And right, look. It, <laughs> you fear me? I'm going to give you all the wisdom and understanding you need to survive, man. Okay? Lord said, "Fear him, man. Look, now don't fear, don't fear your boss at your job, okay? Don't fear your uh your wife, you know. Don't fear your kids. Fear your how about shimmy out shot, man. And he's gonna be your help. He's gonna be your shield, man. That's troubling times is coming here to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. <clears throat> the reason Psalms 115, 11, he is their help and their shield. Come, kind of. Lord's gonna be your help and your shield, man." Okay, and uh, I'm gonna grab one more precept. <clears throat> I'm just gonna jump over to Psalms 118, 118 and 6. Yeah, it's the book of Psalms 118, verse 6. It reads, The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. That's right, if the Lord is on your side. There's no need for you to fear, man. Okay? What can man do unto me? Come. So if the Lord's on your side, what can a man do to you, man? Okay? The scripture says what? Fear not the one that can take the body. Now, I'm roughly paraphrasing. But, you know, fear that entity that can, uh, you know, take both um, body and soul. 
you know, and torment you, man. That's that's the most high. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh You know, that's what we need to be fearing. That's what we need to be putting our trust in. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites. That's what you need to put your trust in, not your bank account, okay? Not your woman, not your job, not the government, not the so-called white man, okay? You have by Shimei was shot, okay? Fear him, and he's going to give you knowledge, okay? Fear the most high, put your trust in him, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, because that's what the scriptures is for. The nation of Israel, man, all right? So if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, hey, fear the Most High. You how about Shimei Shai once again in the world, even calls God and Jesus Christ. All right. And with that, I hope you brought us been edified. Okay. Before I go any further, I get all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to our apostles, and the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible. All right. And another shalom on the artists and sincere occupants, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with diligence and sincerity. Regardless they hear or whether they forbid. Alright? Shalom.